Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a get ready with me, but chit chatty a little bit, a little sped through, a little chit chat, just kind of like a life update because I know I've been gone for a while. So if you guys are interested, let's get started. I'm gonna start off with the Fenty primer. I think it's the Pro Filter Soft Matte one. If you guys have pretty oily skin, but you still like it to be not super drying, I really recommend the Fenty Beauty Foundation. The um, matte one, not the one in the tube. Um, it's called the Pro Filter Foundation. I think it's also soft matte. Yeah, it's soft matte. Both of her soft matte products. I really, so sorry. I really love those. I think they're so good. And the foundation is the nicest foundation I've ever used personally. I love it. My shade is 150. So that's nice. I love it so much. I just dot it around my face. What are your guys' plans for Thanksgiving? It's this week, depending on what day I upload this. Or it's um, next week. Today's Friday the 20th. I'm just gonna blend it out with a giant, um, I think Real Techniques is the brand, a giant sponge, like a giant, giant. This is the face and body one, if you guys are interested. Okay, so what's been going on with you guys? I know I've been gone for a long time. I'm sorry, <clears throat> but I think if you guys watched my unboxing video for my computer, You'll know that my old computer was just so full of stuff. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything on it, and I was really waiting until I got some more information about medical school, which I'll be starting. If you guys didn't know that, I also got into medical school in August, um, in July, and that is so exciting for me. It was like my biggest goal in life. Well, actually, my biggest goal in life is to be a doctor, but this is one step in that direction <laughs> and I'm so excited I'm so happy I was waiting to know whether we'd be online or in person to get this computer that's behind me I don't know if you guys can see it the big iMac because my laptop has been really full I can't really I can't add anything on it I can't upgrade the software or update the software um, I, I can't do I can't do anything with it really I can barely play YouTube videos so that's the problem that's why I stopped making them because I could only edit on my phone I already talked about it if you guys watched that video the last one that I uploaded probably I think it's going up on Friday or today so yeah that was it was really sad and I just kind of lost my interest if I had to do everything on my phone I didn't really know what to vlog so yeah that was annoying i just used the fenty concealer the one that's supposed to match my shade but oh no no i didn't i'm using 140. maybe that's why i don't love it so much i think this concealer is really 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 thick like i'm not the biggest fan i still really love the tarte shape tape as the best one but i really loved the um color pop concealer but they stopped selling the one kind of it. It, it looks very similar to this. It has a white top and they just stopped selling it in Ulta. You have to order it online so I didn't do that. Then I went through a whole phase of trying to find the right concealer. I don't remember. That was a while ago. It might have been a time when I was talking about it on my YouTube. What? It just went on there. Oh, okay. I was like, oh my god. Hey, blended. I get really bad creasing under my eyes. I don't think I've done a talk through video since, I don't know, like a year. Maybe last September. It's November. Sorry if this is boring. I don't really know too much what to say. I'm trying to think. 
um, I kind of updated you guys already just that I stopped making videos because I had no space on my computer so that's really it I am um, I missed it and then my boyfriend kind of pushed me to get back into it because he loves them and I know my unboxing video is really short it's like three minutes and however many seconds but I do want to start making videos again I would like to I know with medical school I most likely won't be able to I don't know do anything fun <laughs> I know that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to live your life, actually. It can't just consume you. But I am nervous, and online seems like it's gonna be a little bit harder to stay focused, but I'm excited. Instead of having to go to campus, I'll be able to stay with my family. So the like adjustment of going to this, going through this rigorous like program and everything might be a little bit easier if I can be near my family members and everything on the weekends. So that would be really cool. I would really like to try to stay active on YouTube while I'm doing medical school because I watch, I love personally watching um, YouTubers who are medical students. I know I put a lot of found, um, powder on my face, but it's because my face is so oily and um, I don't know. I like to use whatever I got in the cap of a loose powder. So, I don't like messes, so <laughs> I try to use it all. Yeah, I'm crazy. My skin has been so bad. So bad. Um, I'm going to take a Milani bronzer. It's more of a, um, I would say like a cool tone one. I think I need cool tones in my life or like at, for my makeup because I am, I, I just don't look good with warm tones. I'm already like kind of pink in general so I really just can't be adding more of the like red and warm colors to my face, you know? This one is Silky Matte. Oh, it's Sun Kissed. It's O2. I don't know which one's the color but I like it. It's nice. I'm trying to find the makeup products that I really like and get rid of all of my stuff basically. I don't want to have too much because I'll have to move out for med school, you know, for my second or third, second term. And then who knows what I'll do. My school is broken down into um, the first two years you go to campus, obviously. Th I mean, that's how probably every medical school is, I think. Um, your first two years are in the classroom and like labs and stuff, but your second two years are clinical, so you're working in a hospital and you know being a, a student doctor so obviously i could come home like to my state again and do a rotation there which i would really appreciate because then i could most likely move in with my boyfriend and do all the stuff that i need to do and feel a little bit normal again but we'll see <laughs> we'll see if i get into a really nice rotation place then I'm obviously going to go there because that would be better for my career, but the goal is to stay, is to come home. I'm going to finish my face and then I'll talk to you after. Okay, I'm going to use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in 3.5 to just fill in my brows a lot. I have like no hair. Well, okay, that's not true. I used to have the thickest brows ever and I just, I like didn't know that, I don't know, in high school it wasn't really, when I was in high school it certainly wasn't the style to have thick brows like I did and I had no idea. And then um, even like eighth grade I had really thick brows. Well, yeah, I mean, they were never waxed. So, um, I had, but I had no idea that like super didn't look good, at least then. But they were really, in, they weren't even like shaped, so they didn't look good. But now I kind of wish they were a little bit thicker. I don't know. 
I kind of want to get them um, microbladed. But knowing me, it would turn out terribly. Or my skin would have a really bad reaction. My skin is so bad with um, anything. Like band-aids, I freak out. I, not me, but my skin just breaks out in hives and like a rash. I don't know why I have to put that as like a warning if I ever get any like medical procedure. I don't know, did you guys wanna know that? Then I'm just using the Anastasia Brow Gel. Okay, if anybody can tell me a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Gel that keeps your brows in place as well as this stuff, could you please tell me down below? Because I have tried so many, so many that people say, like the NYX, um, I think it's a NYX one. I have it in my drawer. It's the, the NYX Control Freak. This doesn't, like, the Anastasia one feels like hairspray in your brows, and this one does not. And none of the other ones I've tried do, and I really don't want to be paying that much for brow gel, but I mean, it is, in my opinion, excuse me, the best. Okay. Let's just put down a little layer of powder and begin. So, okay, let's talk for a sec because um, I know there are very mixed opinions on Jeffree Star right now. I don't know if they're mixed, but you know. But I purchased this palette before I knew all that stuff. So I'm using the Orgy palette and um, I think it's so beautiful. I wanted a neutral palette so badly and his is the one I found. So yeah, please. I'm gonna use it. I didn't, I don't wanna waste it. So I'm just gonna go into um, a mid-tone color. It's called Safe Sex. So, um, yeah. I'm just gonna buff it in both. Kind of just all over, you know what I mean? Like in the crease, kind of bringing it towards the front of my lid too. I just want to get this color like everywhere and then I'll deepen it. Okay, well that's certainly the first time I've ever used that color specifically as this first color and I I said before I don't really like that um, warm colors so it was a mistake. I'm just gonna try to do a nice shape of eyeshadow. <laughs> I never really can. But, okay, as far as life updates go, I think um, the biggest thing was medical school, that's what I said. Um, I don't really have anything else, I think. I, I was working at, I'm still working at the hospital, and I'll be working there until December, or basically until I start medical school. So, um, that's nice. I am... Not doing great mentally, but that's okay. I think right now it's kind of okay to not be doing your best because how can you really be doing your best right now? That's what I would like to know, first of all. I'm going into this slightly darker color just to get a little bit. It's called Invitation Only. My gosh, also, I've been really into reality shows recently and, um, I never ever watched them so like I watched all of Jersey Shore and I'm watching The Real Housewives of New Jersey. They are very interesting people, <laughs> definitely. I'm just gonna blend it out because obviously nothing's really blended. I'm just trying to add colors and then I'll make it look nice better, better later, I mean. Um, yeah. My boyfriend did start a YouTube channel. I don't know if he'll want me to say what it is, so I'm not gonna say anything until he lets me, but I'm very excited for him. He started because of me and then I disappeared <laughs> and then he was, he kept saying like, come back, come back. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with the safe sex color under my eye. I used to never put anything under my eyes except for mascara, but it just looks so good to just like round off the, the look. So I'm gonna use the Lorac Unzipped Palette, the most beautiful palette in creation, personally, for me, because like I said, I don't really like warm colors and it doesn't really have any, so I'm just gonna use my finger 
I'm going to, ooh, ow, undiscovered. And just put that right here. Oh. I'm trying to give my nails a break. I have been nonstop getting gel on them for, or doing them because nail salons were closed. And so I decided I was gonna do my own. So I did that for a long time. Okay, I'm just gonna put on a little bit of eyeliner and my mascara and I'll be back. All right, you guys, so that was it for my chit chat, get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I didn't ramble on too much. I'm gonna see what I can do in the editing of this video. Um, but I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you stuck to the end, I really appreciate you because it's probably kind of long and rambling. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed talking to me. And I really hope that I can be able to post more in the future. So thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.